Hello, in this video we will be looking at some tools available in your apparel software. These can be used to enhance image output quality and help with the removal of backgrounds. These tools are in some cases optional and if they are not present in your version then you can upgrade your package via your dealer to enable these features if you wish. The first tool we will look at is Supersize. This feature is designed to enlarge lower resolution images. To supersize the graphics, you can right click and select the Supersize option, or select Supersize from the job menu. The first thing you must do is select the new resolution you want to enhance the image to. Depending on the output size of the image, somewhere between 200 and 400 dpi is suggested, or around 8 to 10 megabytes. There are only three controls you normally need worry about using. Edge crispness. This will control how much sharpening you want to apply to the final result. For a logo like this, we want it as sharp as possible. Surface smoothness, this is used to take out noise from the graphics that have been highly compressed, such as high compressed JPEG files. With solid colors in this logo, we want this also at the maximum. The soft checkbox will also boost the surface smoothness, so we will enable this for this graphics. You can see as it redraws the before and after. For other graphics which are more complicated and less of a logo, you will in general want less edge crispness. Knock Me Colour Out is a tool you can use for the removal of solid backgrounds. Knock Me Colour Out is found under the Jobs CadLink menu. Click on the top image to select the colour you want to remove. Use the underbase slider to control the range of that colour to remove. The lower image will show you a preview and you can switch between a transparency preview a preview of the underbase where black will be the white ink and a simulation preview with the shirt colour. You can also zoom in and out to see the details of the changes. And pan around using the lower preview. Not Me Colour Out is a simple and easy to use feature when all you want to do is remove a background colour. If you have a more complicated background to remove, then Fluid Mask is a much more powerful feature. Fluid Mask can be found either from the right-click menu or from the Jobs menu. In Fluid Mask, we have 
three brush types in the left hand palette. Green is for keep, red is for delete, and blue is for blend. I think it's best described as the not sure brush. There are two brushes for each. An exact brush, which works as a normal paintbrush, and a region brush, which will select the whole of any region it touches. Note you can use the open and close brackets as shortcuts to make the brush smaller or bigger. The shortcuts in Fluid Mask are compatible with Photoshop. In this example, I'm selecting all the areas I want to remove, as I only want to print the iguana and the branch it's standing on, on my shirt. Once I've selected all my deleted areas, I'm going to do a clean all delete. This will select any small holes I might have missed in the delete area. Then I'm going to autofill with keep the remaining area. Now I can click on my cutout tool to see the results. We can change the preview of the cutout to a transparent background or change the colour to simulate a t-shirt colour. When I'm happy with the results, select File, Save and Apply. And it's ready. There are many more tutorials available on YouTube. Just do a search for Fluid Mask in YouTube. I'm going to do one more sample which will deal with a much harder image and removal of a background with hair. In this example, we want to remove the background of a girl to use on a black shirt. First, I'm going to use the blend brush, the not sure brush as I like to call it, to mark the area where the hair and the background merge, as this is the area of the image that will be difficult to define as either keep or delete. I'm not using the region blend brush, I'm just using the ordinary paintbrush tool for this. Then I will mark the rest of the background with delete. Note I have the protect blend checkbox at the top. This will stop the delete changing my blend area. It won't overwrite it. Once I've marked my deleted areas, I can now use an auto fill with keep for the rest of the image. And then I can do a knock out to see what my background looks like. I can see the preview of how it will look like on a black shirt. And if I'm happy with it, which I am, I can save and apply to bring it back to my queue. You can also open an image in Photoshop from the queue itself using the Send to Photoshop. Or if you don't have Photoshop, a copy of GIMP is installed as part of your apparel software, which is a free bitmap editing program that you can use. So if I wanted to add some text using GIMP, I can edit with GIMP, add my text, select my font size, color, and font and when I've created my text I simply merge it down to a single layer 
and then I can send it back to my queue with the plugin found in GIMP. And there you have your image with the text added. Another useful tool is the Transparency Opacity tool. This can be used to edit your transparency layer, and in doing so, is editing your underbase. In this example, we have a gradient glow around the dragon. Using the hard clip, I can clip the highlights of my underbase or more so they are not printed. Using the opaque slider, I can do the opposite and turn my mid-tones or light parts around the base to solid areas. Using the mid-tones adjustment, I can just change the gradient of how the white underbase is printed, putting more or less down from the mid-tones outwards. These will not change areas that are completely transparent or opaque. Only the minimum and maximum sliders affect these. So in this example, I've used my plugin to emphasize the gradient glow around my dragon while still blending it into the shirt. There are also some easy tools to use, such as Clean Up Black. The background of this image isn't a true black, and if printed, gives me a dark grey in the background where I want my shirt colour. Using the easy adjustment Clean Up Black times 2, I can ensure the background is true black and will not be printed and just be the black of the shirt. Using these tools, we can take poor images and turn them into high quality artwork for t-shirt printing. This image is a low res image that we will first use supersize so we have something higher resolution to work with. And for this image, which isn't a logo or a photo, I'm going to use the default values. The image is also a little flat, so I'm going to use an easy adjustment tool to increase the saturation. You could do this multiple times if you wanted to, to increase the saturation more. Because this image was highly compressed as a JPEG, it has a lot of noise in the image. So my final step is to use something called Noise Shampoo which will smooth out the shading and give me a final result for a high quality t-shirt print. These plugins are unique and all designed to be easy to use and purpose built for apparel printing.